So I recently got certified as a Google Cloud Digital Leader and in this video we'll discuss these four things. Number one, how much did it cost? Number two, why I actually chose to do Google Cloud certification when AWS is so famous? Number three, how did I prepare for it in less than 24 hours? And number four, should you do this as well? Let's get into it. All right, so let's get into it. The first point, how much did it actually cost? At the time I gave this exam, the exam was 99 US dollars and maybe it depends on the country you live in, but this was an easy one. Let's get into the important topics. So a lot of my colleagues and my friends were asking me, why the hell did I go into Google Cloud certifications when AWS is so famous? If you are a programmer or into tech, you would see that AWS is everywhere. I have Ruma in my house that's controlled by AWS. The last two companies I worked for were using AWS for their cloud. If I open my LinkedIn, everyone is getting AWS certifications today. So that seemed like an obvious choice and I was also drawn towards it. But then on the other side, I was learning Angular. And while I was learning Angular, I came to know about backend as a service called as Firebase. And I really loved it. Like Firebase was so flawless. It was so easy to deploy applications, to have a database there, to have queries, to have authentication, to have serverless functions, which are known as Firebase functions and so many more things. There's already a playlist on our YouTube channel. Go ahead and check that out if you're interested into that. Firebase, which is essentially a small service that Google Cloud Platform offers. So that was my first introduction as a user, as a customer. I really felt that Google Cloud has a lot of potential and it's just maybe not as famous as AWS as of right now. Then I started looking online, how many jobs are there for AWS people as compared to Google Cloud, etc. And this is what I found. So at this moment in Canada, if I just type AWS, I have more than 5,000 jobs, open job positions on LinkedIn right now. And if I type in Google Cloud Platform or just GCP, which is what companies usually write, I see about 3,700 jobs. So they both are in demand. It's just AWS is a bit more. I trust Google. Like I know that they will try their best to build the best product available. And Google is a company that is on cloud since day one, right? And that basically made up my mind. I thought, why do something that 99% of the people are doing? Let's go the 1% route and see for myself how it turns out. Now, the point that maybe most of you are interested in is how I actually prepared for the exam in less than 24 hours and then cleared it on my first attempt, which was amazing, by the way. So I did register for this exam in advance, but I completely forgot about it and I got busy into other projects. Luckily, this certification is more on the basic side. So there's no technical knowledge that's required for this. So scrum masters, developers, project managers, everyone with a technical or non-technical background can learn about this and get this certificate. And I would say less than a week. So as you can see right here, Google already gives you free training for the exam, which is just awesome, right? So you don't have to even look at a hundred different YouTube videos or maybe buy courses online. You can just go through their training and pass the certificate. So in this learning path, you would go through about five to 10 videos in each and every, you know, sub course. And at the end, you will be given a quiz. And that quiz is important because it will not only test your knowledge, but also prepare you for the final exam. So this is great. I highly recommend you doing that. So I did that very quickly. There are a few things I remembered, few I forgot, but by giving the quiz again and again, it really helped me memorize a few things. A few very important concepts are what is multi-cloud environment, what's a hybrid cloud environment, why should companies choose cloud over the old systems. There are some case studies which are very interesting. What are the security features Google Cloud offers, as well as a lot of products and services that they offer. So they might ask you a question in which they'll say, a company wants to create this kind of application and for this, what Google Cloud product do you think is the best? So they will give you three or four products and you have to choose the best one, right? So there are some things you need to memorize and especially like me, because I never worked with Google Cloud before instead of Firebase. And so I didn't remember the name of the services that well. So those things I had to write down. I made some notes and started preparing for the exam that way. And this was really awesome. Once I went through the whole course that Google Cloud provides, then they also provide some sample questions. So in this case, there's a sample test from January 26, 2022, and this has about 50 or 60 questions. So you can just go through that test. I think you can go through that once, but you can just use a different email ID if you really want to go through it again and again. And in the end, it will tell you which questions were correct, which were incorrect. So it's kind of a practice exam. So I would recommend you giving this a try and think of it like an exam. Don't cheat. Don't look things online. You can always get the answers at the end. 
So just it would be kind of a mock test for you, which really helped me and really gave me an idea where I stand right now. And if memory serves me right, I think the passing score for this exam is 80%. So please keep that in mind. And another thing is that you have to retake this exam every two to three years just to prove that you are still in touch with this technology. And one final hack or suggestion I would like to give to you is find more practice questions online. That's what I did. I just started typing on Google sample questions or practice questions for Google Cloud Digital Leader Certification Exam and it started coming out with the list. And even better, you can just ask ChatGPT that you have a Google Cloud Digital Leader Exam and give me a mock test. Maybe it will prepare 20, 30 questions for you and you can go through them. The idea behind this exam is that you have a good knowledge of what cloud is. That's the whole idea behind this exam and that's what they're trying to test. They're not here to fail you, right? They're just here to test your knowledge. So go ahead and just to summarize, first of all, go through all their training material, which is for free. Give their mock exam, which is again for free and try to find some mock questions online or just ask chat GPT for help. And fourth one, which I don't recommend to many people is there are some courses on Udemy, like $15 or $20 courses that you can buy, which basically have mock tests for you. So if you are running short of time and you are willing to spend that amount, just go ahead and buy that and it will give you three mock tests. Okay, the final question, should you give this exam? And unfortunately the answer is it depends. It depends on if you're trying to find a job right now or you're just trying to learn this for fun or you want to get into Google Cloud. Number one, if you're trying to find a job, maybe this certification is not going to help you a lot in the very beginning. See, the thing is, if you're trying to get hired as a developer, I would recommend you learning things like JavaScript, maybe a framework, a front end, back end framework, or maybe Python or Java if you don't like JavaScript for any reason. And then try to deploy your application, right? Learn how to have a database online, deploy your application, have some authentication mechanisms. That is more than enough to land a first job, right? You do not need to get AWS and Google Cloud certifications just to get a job, right? It's a good thing to have but it's not really going to help you with landing your first job any quicker if you don't know how to code properly or don't have any projects of your own. Second thing, why I chose the path to getting a certification is that I did not want to waste a lot of time and I did not know what's the right way to learn Google Cloud because it's such a vast amount of services and products they offer. I was getting overwhelmed on what I should actually learn. So certifications are although not necessary for finding a job, they just give you a path to follow. And people like me, I don't like random crazy things, learning one thing here, one thing there. I just like a certain path to follow, a certain guideline, a few steps that I can just, you know, go one by one, mark that off my list and say, yes, I have practice enough, let's give the exam. So it was just an easy way for me. So it depends on your personality. If you are okay trying to find free things online or just practicing things here and there, that's good. You just do this exam if you either want this to be in your credential like the LinkedIn or if you're like me and you want a systematic path on learning something. And as you can see, Google Cloud has a lot of certifications. I just got the foundational one. And then there's an associate, which is my next target. It's called Google Cloud Engineer. And then we have some professional certifications. So based on what you do, like cloud architect, data engineer, etc. So I hope I answered some of your questions. But still, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below and see you next time. Bye. And by the way, if you're planning to give the exam, all the very best.